right, this is my 89 Mustang. Got a Cobra Swap Terminator 2003. Um, got some issues I need to fix. It's got bad motor mounts. Uh, clutch feels funny. Um, also going to do some upgrades at the same time. So we're going to pull the engine out, fix the motor mounts, the clutch, do some headers, and do some uh, blue power coated valve covers. Cool. And eventually we'll do the pulley swap and uh, heat exchanger upgrade too. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a sway bar off of a, I guess a 90, 96 through 98 uh, V6. Um, I went to this because to put this engine in a Fox, you have to cut the Fox sway bar mounts off. Mm -hmm. Tried to make brackets, they, they just wouldn't hold up. So um, the reason I went with this bar is because this year car is mounted right to the frame rail. There you go. So the only downside is the bar is a little bit wider, it's about an inch wider on each side, so you lose some turn radius. But mm. It's not bad uh, considering you have a working sway bar again. It's yeah. not fun driving this car without a sway bar. Yeah, beats no sway bar. Huh? Yeah. Big cheater bar. Goodness for cheetah bars. Ready to drop the strut 
strut, spindle, and AR assembly is one unit, hopefully. Freeze, get to all the wiring, fluid connections, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's low. How low can you go? I'm doing some connections. Got the uh, clutch cable off. Good stuff. Now we're working on the cross member. Okay, we think this is about the last connection here. Before we drop the engine, it's up for you. We gotta do the hydro boost. Oh, and the hydro boost. Yeah. At least you can wipe the motor to get a little clearance. For the hydro boost.
This one. So, uh, got it out. It's out. It's a lot easier than that Tahoe engine was, isn't it? It is. <laughs> a lot easier this way. Yep. Yep. It is a monster. Looks huge sitting there. See that? Or on the inside? Oh yeah, a little groove going around. Yep. It's a little better. Yep. See, that's pretty thin. What about you? Yeah, I would say so. Hmm. Oh gosh! Is it flapping in the breeze? Huh. Yeah, I'd say you're due for a new clutch. Huh. And a flywheel. And flywheel. Oh yeah, it's been hot. So this is the factory cover flywheel. The main part of the flywheel is aluminum. That's a steel insert. Huh. It's riveted in, so it's not replaceable. Oh yeah. Now, they, they say these can be machined once, surfaced once. I doubt this one could go through it. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's close to the rivet head. Yeah. How many miles do you think on that, on that engine? I don't know. I mean, the cluster had like 50,000 miles. That's what the instrument cluster said. Yeah, I mean, now, now how many? Uh, 70,000. Yeah. 75. What? 
That takes a life. I know. For a flower? Mm-hmm. You know, it's sawdust in there. Maybe I can see better than that. There's the new clutch disc, dual friction. It's flywheel side. Flywheel side. Oh, Fresh yeah. plate. Sweet. A lot more material on this one. Huh? Mm -hmm. Almost double. Yeah. the new water pump in. Very tight. Oh, oh we got one. That's just the stud. Oh. I have a nut for the stud. There's a ground there. Alright, got the motor mount off. The driver side. It's a little bit wonky looking. Holy moly. Yeah, I think Completely that one was I think that one was bad. Wow. Interesting. All right, new motor mount going on. Factory hitters coming off. Here you go. 
One down. So I noticed this when I first did the swap years ago. It says authorized Ford remanufactured 922 2005. So seeing as these engines were only made in 2003 and 2004, I believe this is a warranty replacement engine. Mm -hmm. All right, going for the passenger side now. Take a these studs out. Cook's hitters, one side. The header on passenger side. Okay, one, one pipe is removable. All right, we've got the right side, or passenger side, Kook's header on. Alright, got the headers on, new motor mounts. What else? Uh, this is, that's it for now. Yeah. Good. There's the bypass valve. See, if you can see the rotors. You're up top, see? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. 